ready, Sir Bobbly Sock. I need to return these old library books and get some new ones. I could always read you one of the stories from my book, The Life and Times of Sir Bobbly Sock. I've got plenty of exciting tales. <laughs> I know, Sir Bobbly Sock, but I have heard all about your adventures before. I'd quite like to read a new story. Well, if we go to the library, I can write the next chapter of my book, all about the time I was stranded on a desert island. Really? Then let's go! Hello, Miss Hush. Oh, hello, Claude. I'm here to return my library books. Oh, I'm sorry, but the library is closed. <gasps> closed? Yes, I've been called away to an emergency. Some children are pulling over the corners of the pages of their books. No! Yes! So you can see why I have to deliver these bookmarks right away. You should always treat books carefully. Oh, yes. Oh, if only there was someone who could help me, someone who knew all about books, then the library could stay open. <gasps> I can do that. I have read a lot of books, and Sir Bobbly Sock is even writing one. Yes, it's true. A real life author! Shh! Thank you, Claude. I'll not be gone long. <sighs> wow! The sound of silence. What can I do to help, Claude? Nothing, Sir Bobbly Sock. I just have to find the book that tells me how to be a librarian. Then I'll know exactly what to do. What a good idea, Claude. And you can go work on your desert island chapter. Now, if you're sure, just call me if you need anything. <gasps> oh, a big chair. Wee! <laughs> Wee! <gasps> oh, look, a stamper. Oh, wow! A bell. Ding a ling a ling a ling. Ding a ling a ling. <laughs> Shh! Have to be quiet. <laughs> 